Today we have some exciting news about the upcoming iPhone 16 series, and it will be the biggest boost for the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus, one processor for the entire lineup. We'll talk about that and more in today's video. But before we start, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our latest updates. So let's dive right in. According to Haitong Securities analyst Jeff Pu, Apple is planning something big for the iPhone 16 series next year. All four new 2024 iPhone models will be powered by the same A18 Pro chip, which will be manufactured by TSMC using its second-generation N3E 3NME process node. This would reverse a change made by Apple starting with last year's iPhone 14 series. This year, the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max are the only phones in the world to feature a chipset produced using the 3 nanometers process node, the A17 Pro sports 19 billion transistors, the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15, plus both have last year's Pro application processor, the A16 Bionic, under the hood. Next year's A18 Pro will be manufactured by TSMC using its second generation 3 nanometers process node, which is called N3E. This should result in greater power efficiency for the iPhone 16 line. In addition to this, next year's Pro iPhones will gain Wi-Fi 7 connectivity, up from the Wi-Fi 6E capable iPhone 15 Pro models. The 16 Pro and Pro Max will also receive the Qualcomm Snapdragon X75 modem, which should provide faster 5G download speeds compared to the X70 found on the iPhone 15 generation, alongside better battery life. Both 16 Pro models will get updated, 48 megapixels ultra-wide cameras, and the 16 Pro is expected to gain the 12 megapixels tetraprism lens found on the iPhone 15 Pro Max with its 5x optical zoom. According to Ross Young, the CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultants, the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are set to feature larger displays, measuring 6.3 inches and 6.9 inches respectively. This represents an increase from the 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch displays found on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. The new models are also expected to have taller aspects ratios. In addition, McRumors has obtained pre-production information suggesting that all iPhone 16 models will include a new feature known as the Capture button. This button will be located below the Power button, although its exact function remains unclear. Some speculate that it could serve as a dedicated shutter button for the camera. What do you think about these upcoming features of the iPhone 16 series? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that bell icon for notifications on our latest videos. We appreciate your support. Until next time, see you in the next video.